absolutely a pleasure to see the leading pioneers and biohackers here today. We're going to have an awesome event. Absolutely amazing event. So my name is Teemu Arina. I'm one of the creators of the program, a co-founder of Quantified Self and Biohacking Finland. And when we started this with Mikko, uh, it was in spring 2013, we said that we are going to make Finland the hotspot for the technologies that are developing in quantified self and digital health and wearables. And I can honestly say that that is happening right now because here we have the representatives of the biohacking community from Estonia, from Sweden, from Norway, and also our dear friends who are also speakers from the Netherlands, uh, the co-founder of, so of Quantified Self Europe, and also a guest from US. Uh, my name is Mikko Ikola, uh, biohacker, lifestyle designer, entrepreneur, co-founder at Amber Night and, and virtual assistant service called V Assistenti. I'm also very pleased to see that Helsinki has become uh, the pioneering city in Scandinavia and Baltics in biohacking and quantified self. And when you look at the amount of quantified self related companies, Helsinki has most per capita in the world. So it's been an ama amazing ride for the last, last two years and we're just boosting it up today. Yeah, we're just uh, getting started and this is the first Biohacker Summit, but I promise we're gonna have Biohacker Summit 2015 as well. So today the program, there's an amazing program waiting for all of us, so hopefully many of you can enjoy the whole day. Um, I've been able to see some of the presentations beforehand and I can say that there is absolutely amazing uh, stuff and material and, and we are also getting very physical with some of the implants and uh, the batches have on the other side you have the program so that's the up-to-date program and uh, there is a couple of items there so the lunch break is going to be one and a half hours and during that time we have reserved a lot of time for you guys to network with each other and get introduce yourself to the great companies that are here and um, yesterday we had the upgraded dinner and that was <laughs> absolutely amazing. We had six kitchens, uh, the participants working in collaboration to create a six course meal and upgrading everything that's in it. And actually we had an extra dessert, <laughs> uh, an extra one. Uh, so that was oh, the Teurastamo, the butchery, where we were. We, we sort of thought that it's the perfect place to have the first implant in Finland to be installed. So we had an extra dessert right there. So a magnet has now been installed on one of our speakers. How did you enjoy that, Mikko? I enjoyed the dinner. Uh, enjoying watching the installation of the implant was a little bit different experience, but but uh, a little bit more about that later. Anyway, you've seen the speakers, you've seen the program, so, so you can just turn your badge and, and have a look at it. So Upgraded Dinner is, has been organized in collaboration with A21, so they have this amazing place, Flavor Studio, and uh, today, this evening, we are going to have the Upgraded Drinks and After Party at A21, at Anankatu 21. Uh, you, you are all most welcome there. We have some upgraded drinks, so we have been preparing special menus there as well. And by the way, today the lunch is paleo, it's, uh, it's, it's upgraded as well, so we collaborated with Roya Ravintola to make, make it uh, uh, slightly, slightly different than normally are uh, served in, in conferences. So I want to thank the um, organizers of this event. So. The logos are up there. It looks amazing. The audio sounds absolutely fantastic. And uh, it looks great. And uh, the coffee is, by the way, warrior coffee. So it's not normal coffee that makes you uh, a little bit irritated and tired. Rather, it turns, turns you on. It's high quality stuff. And uh, 
Yes, and in addition to the partners, uh, the largest and warmest thank you to all Biohacker Summit crew. So Biohacker Summit is a non-profit community effort. And there's been roughly 15 volunteers making this happen. And I would warmly like to personally thank you, first of all, Valeri Vlasenko for organizing the whole crew activities. Always smiling, making everybody, you know, perform and be happy. Then for all the blog posts you've been reading about our speakers, uh, Jeremy Quick has been writing them, Angel Goa, uh, Lee Ebin, and Vilma Hamalainen. So, so that's, that's been amazing. And, and also for all the general arrangements here and pre-conference day, the after party, Nora Korppi, Mikko Rasuo, Lau Lauri Paloheimo, amazing job. And today with all the technical production here, Christopher Westerlund is taking care there. You can raise your hand. He's making this, is, this look awesome. And the, and, the, and the final name, of course, Junski Hannikainen, who's making all these lights here and making the, the atmosphere very vibrant today. So once more, huge thank you for all the volunteers. And we have amazing upgrade companies. Without them, this would not be possible. And uh, get familiar with their products and services. And, uh, and there is great offers also. I think almost every company has something to offer you to take away. You can make your final like Christmas present uh, purchases here. Very upgraded stuff. And uh, uh, more on that later. The, Tag for social media is BH Summit, so I hope you're gonna tweet, post photos and so on. Use that on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram or, and uh, Pinterest or whatever you, you like. And, um, and, and biohacking, so, so really deep diving, what is this all about? There is these definitions going around, so if we wanna give like a brief outlook how people see biohacking, I think that the underlying definition is that we are engaging biology with hacker ethic, and that's how it all starts. Very pioneering stuff. But then there are many other definitions. Probably the most common one we've been using is Dave Asprey's systems, th systems thinking. So applying the systems thinking to your body, thinking what are the inputs, your sleep, your nutrition, and then what are your out outputs, like how productive how healthy you are every day. So applying things that are used in computer science, engineering to your body, because it actually suits very well to the thinking. Or what do you think, Themo? Is there still some other, other definitions that are present here today? Absolutely. I mean, biohacking doesn't require technology to happen. There is, in Finland, they use quantified self and biohacking sort of as a synonym, but Biohacking is not the sensors and all of those technologies. Biohacking is a much wider thing than what quantified self is. So I think there is a lot of uh, biohackers that have come before us and will come in the future as well. So who is your favorite biohacker, by the way? Mm. I have a favorite biohacker who is present in this, this event. I think I'm going to let you know about it uh, a bit later because there's a special slide for it, but, but I wanna drop the ball to you. Who's your favorite biohacker? I mean, if you look at movies like Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, you know, these Jedi masters, every day when I am, thanks. I mean, these guys are amazing. We didn't plan this. <laughs> so every, every time, you know, you see a movie, there is this just a normal character, uh, you know, just like every one of us. And is being invited for a journey. Journey where they will meet different challenges, different mentors. And by going through a transformation, in the end, they often have to face, if not themselves, their father or the main villain in those stories. So that's the dive into the abyss, into the unknown, 
and being reborn as new. And this is what biohacker ethic is really all about. It's about understanding that today who you are, the capabilities you have, those are not stationary but can be improved. So it's about personal development definitely and the kind of life's journey. And I'm really interested in this kind of hero's journey. So in your life, who's the hero and who, how does that hero develop and what kind of methods, what do you uh, influence yourself with? Who do you meet? Who are the friends you choose to work with? And what are the technologies you work with? Technologies are in a way an extension of you. And another great sort of movie character, but a re really a real biohacker was uh, Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee, this guy was amazing. I mean, he was a pioneer. He was experimenting with vitamins before it was possible to buy them in bulk, you know, packages like you can get from over there. Uh, he was making his own. The other thing was that he was experimenting with smoothies like Ambronite. You know what his uh, Ambronite version was? Tell me. It was seven eggs and raw meat and some milk in a blender. And then he drank that. That was his like morning breakfast. And the other thing that he was doing was electrostimulation, muscle electrostimulation to recover from training much faster. So he was giving himself electric shocks, but the electric shocks were so strong that other people would die. But that was Bruce <laughs> Lee. And when Bruce Lee was acting in movies, uh, he was so fast that the camera didn't catch him. So the director said to him like, you have to slow down, you know, we are not catching you. And then when he slowed down, it was a blur. So he had to really, you know, push himself to be even a blur on screen. So he was a real biohacker. Yeah, and I, I think Bruce Lee is a great example. I mean, he was a real biohacker, but still quite different what biohacking maybe means today. But he has a lot of very inspiring quotes. He really walked the talk. Like, I mean... You're water, my friend. <laughs> Be water. <laughs> and, I mean, Bruce said that the key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. And I think that's a pretty good one. So mm. whatever you're doing, you know, if it's something worth remembering, I think you're on the right track. So every morning, wake up as a better version of yourself or try to be a better version of yourself. So the combination of quantified self and biohacking is about becoming aware of that capability and from health perspective it's more about the preventive side than treating disease it's actually cheaper to keep yourself healthy than treat a disease and the other aspect about personal development it's a tailored personal development so it's very personal and it's uh, responsive to your your situation and now we see a lot of sensors coming out and i mean look at anything just about out there there is a sensor for that uh, you look at the growing trend of different sensors coming out. So we have some of these. I have an activity tracker right here on my wrist. But uh, I don't really use much these kind of things, actually. I, like, I prefer technology that is ambient in a way that I don't have to turn it on, push a button or anything, or even wear something, if possible. That's why I like the sleep trackers here, Bedit and the MFIT. Both are great products. Um, but I have to tell you what I use this for. So this gives me vibration. And it gives me a vibration uh, because, um, uh, to, g to rephrase, I hate vibration because the mobile phone, every time it rings, it means trouble, right? So I, I, yeah, I, it has been training me that when something vibrates, it's irritating. So what I did, I, I was thinking, what do I want this thing to vibrate for? And, uh, Every time someone is putting money on my bank account, I get a vibration. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. So over 1,000 times people have bought our upcoming nutrition book, and uh, it, I'm already liking it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> OK. But in a way, technology is becoming extremely personal. And, and when Apple came out with the Apple Health Kit and the Apple Watch, uh, this is uh, what Time Magazine released the next day technologies that will colonize our bodies. So, I mean, every morning you wake up, you look at your phone. Every evening when you go to sleep, you look at your phone. Now, they want to become even more intimate with you. And uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this, this event today, this conference today, we're going to explore also in the end of the day, 
what this might mean today, what's possible, what are happening in the, on the fringes, and what might be the future trends uh, ten, uh, 5, 10, 15 years from now. So getting back to the favorite biohacker question. So, so during, the, during the last two days, I've been hosting uh, the speakers of the event, half of them at my apartment just a few blocks away, and, and got to know them very well, and understood about their ambitions and what they're doing, and, and uh, how they are kind of like pushing forward the future. And I really want to bring up uh, one of our keynote speakers, uh, Amal Krastra. Because I really believe that the people who risk themselves are the ones pushing the boundaries. And I'm, if you think of all the speakers, Amal is definitely risking a lot. He's double RFID implantee also as a magnet implantee. And yesterday, as you can see, uh, we were doing some operations. So, so the, the surgery here is Tom. Uh, also present somewhere here now today, and Martin is receiving the, the magnet implantation. So the picture is from yesterday, from the, the extra dessert at the pre-conference day. Butchery, yes. So, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, having this magnet, I, I had a talk with Amal, Amal yesterday, it's like having a sixth sense. A magnet in the, in the finger, you can feel the magnetic fields around different places. It connects to your nervous system as the nerve end is the in, in the end of your finger. And I mean, we were, we were going through our, you know, electric switches that, you know, I was asking like, can you feel something and everything. And for example, when you open up the laptop, there are these magnets on the screen which hold the laptop screen to the, to the laptop and, and you could feel them. And actually, funny thing in, in MacBook, Amal can actually shut down your MacBook by placing his finger on the correct spot because that's the spot when it recognizes, you know, when the screen is shut down. So it's, it's funny like where this will lead. These are just like one of, one of the hundreds of examples. Absolutely. And we're going to dive deeper into these things. But this brings to my mind Marshall McLuhan. He was a media theorist in the 60s and he said that technology is an extension of man. So a phone is an extension of your ear, the car is an extension of your feet. And electric circuitry is an extension of the, hu the, the human central nervous system. In a way, we are information. You look at our DNA, you look at the different signals. It can be biochemical signals. It can be electrical signals through our nervous system. These are messages that are being transmitted all the time inside of us and to the outside world. And that's how we communicate. And so therefore, information is, is in a way primary the patterns in the universe that we use every day to navigate and uh, become more aware of ourselves and our surround surroundings. And this, uh, this is pioneering work. But I think it's time to start the program because I think everyone is more interested in, in hearing the speakers tell these things themselves than, than us introducing them. So yeah, why I don't mean, we just go on, yes, on with it? Yes. Everything is deeply intermingled, as Jason Silva said. And and uh, there is only all knowledge because you cannot really neatly uh, divide the cross connections of things. And we are going to have very inspiring lectures, companies, presentations today. And I think it's a good time to get started. Absolutely. So let's do it. All right. Thank you very much.